Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Light Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a suggestion from Espartaco. 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 We would say Espartaco, Espartaco. en español. Pero... Spartacus. Spartacus. Y um, Espartaco would like us to talk about uh, winning the lottery. Okay, and the structure of, of the sentence that he's given us. Y hablamos de todo eso en la segunda parte. So this is an early intermediate class. Okay, so we'll be doing it in English. And before we start, if you like these kind of classes and if you would like to give us some suggestions then you might consider helping us by supporting this youtube channel all you have to do is join you can see that in the little video here and we will deal with your suggestions timely and beautifully <laughs> in a timely fashion in me a gusta, timely fashion me gusta esa expresión. Sí. okay right so let's have a let's have a um a look at um espartaco and his espartaco. question well, not a look at at Espartaco, but rather at the question that <laughs> Espartaco has given us. Okay, so he's asking this question. Why does the te appear in this sentence? ¿Qué harías si te ganaras la lotería? Okay, so we've had a discussion beforehand because certainly here in Spain, that isn't the way that the sentence would be said. No. 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 How would it be said? We wouldn't use the verb ganarse in this case in reflexive. We would say no. ganar. It's ganar la lotería. So, ¿qué harías si ganaras la lotería? Sí. But even that is not probably the first verb that people would reach out for when they were talking about that. Here oh, in well, Spain. you could say, ¿qué harías si ganases la lotería? Uh -huh. sí. O, ¿qué harías si te tocase? La lotería. Right. If the lottery touched you. So let's just pause there because that's what, what Cynthia's done is she's used nearly the same structure or it appears. ¿Qué harías si te tocase la lotería o si, si te tocara? There's no difference, okay? So what's the difference between the, the, the sentence that Espartaco has given us and this one? Well, the one that he's given us is, is a reflexive, rightly enough, he says that. And it's ganarse. But the sentence that Cynthia's just given us is not reflexive because there are two no. persons in it. Yes. And basically you're saying, if the lottery were to touch you. Yeah. So it's a way that they do that here. The, 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 when they say, te toca, okay, te toca la lotería, it, it's like you've won the lottery, but the lottery's touched you. That yes. luck has touched you. And they use the same in cards when it's your turn. Well, we've talked about the verb tocar because we use tocar in in different different uh, contexts with different meanings mm -hmm. but in this case when we talk about the lottery um, well it's what we use with the lottery the lottery touches you you wouldn't say that in english of course we're just saying what we would say sure so tocarte la lotería is that you win the lottery exactly so here in here in spain tocarse uh, but, uh, sorry not tocarse it's something <laughs> well, completely different tocarse no. is something different <laughs> okay <laughs> We'll you can, you can touch yourself and you can win the lottery. Yeah. Two things. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, ganarse, ganarse. Right? Yes. Is not is not a, not the structure that's used here. You don't say me, me gano. With la lotería. Uh, la no. lotería, no. No, we would say ganar la lotería. This is in Spain, by the way, because maybe we have people that know people from other parts of Hispano America. And they say, they may use the reflexive there. Like in some verbs, they use the reflexive and we don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes um, there are slight differences, you know, in the, in the Spanish. Um, but we, in Spain, we wouldn't say that. We would say, typically we would say, ganar la lotería o tocarte la lotería. So is there a time when you would use ganarse as a verb? Oh, yes. We can use the verb ganarse in reflexive with other things. Uh, and ganarse, when it's used in reflexive, it's typically typically used when we earn something by, like, we deserve something. Have I I've heard ganarse la vida. Ganarse la vida. So it's like to, to earn a living. Mm -hmm. Like, me gano la vida... And that, then your job. Me gano la vida... 
no sé, eh, ayudando a las personas necesitadas. And obviously it implies working. You've got to work at that. Yes, that's, yeah. the, that's the way you earn your living, yeah? Exactly. You say earn a living, it would earn say living, ganarse, yeah. ganarse la lotería o ganarse la confianza de alguien. To earn... To, to earn the confidence or win the confidence, win over the confidence okay. or something like that, yeah. Yeah. So, it, it's so always, there's always an effort It's, involved, a, it's like yeah? an effort and then you deserve it. Yeah, you deserve because of the effort, yeah? Right. Well, it's like earn. Sometimes, mm -hmm. maybe you don't say earn, you say all the verbs, but yeah. it's the, the sentiment behind it. So there's an effort and then I receive it. Mm -hmm. um, whereas with the lottery, there's no effort. That's the right. way we see it. It's just a win just uh, a by win. chance. So yeah. we could say um, ganarse la vida to earn a mm -hmm. living or ganarse el sueldo to mm -hmm. earn your money or to your, earn your wage, salary, your wage. Your wage yeah. Ganarse la confianza de alguien mm -hmm. to win someone's trust, you would say? To then? win someone's trust, yeah. You wouldn't say earn, earn someone's trust? Earn okay. someone's trust, yeah, uh, also earn, win, okay. yeah. Um, <coughs> for example, ganarse, what else? Um, el apodo, okay, so he earned the nickname, blah, 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 because. Did uh, you say that? So he earned, he earned that nickname. He because, earned the nickname. Uh, um, he w we would say maybe it was given, but, uh, but yeah, okay, it would work. He well, earned, he earned yeah. it because he did, maybe he did something mm -hmm. that many times that he got that nickname because of that, so he earned yeah. it that way. Uh -huh. So in, in things like that, o ganarse el cariño, ganarse el amor, ganarse el afecto, so to earn the love or okay. the affection or someone's loving because you've worked at it. I, I know. So he I earned, know all can you say that. he earned the love? Like... Um, el presidente se ganó el cariño de, de su pueblo. That happens very We would say he, he won over the, oh, the people. Okay. Yeah. So then we would say he earned it. He earned the love mm. of, the, of, its, of his he people. He won the love. He gained the love. Yeah, and the love. You could, yeah. It's virtually the same, we say. Yeah. Yeah. So that, okay. that would be the, the difference between ganar, which is to win. Uh -huh. So ganar, like to just win, to win. To by win luck. a race. Uh -huh. Or to win the lottery, uh -huh. ganar. Okay. Okay. Or to, to win a prize, ganar. Yeah. Muy bien. Entonces, espartaco. Muchas gracias <laughs> por gracias por la sugerencia, las muchas, y también por tus comentarios y tan los comentarios, bonitos. Sí. Tan Exacto. bonitos. Especialmente el comentario sobre Guillermo, que me, <laughs> que me hizo reír mucho. De hecho, sí. estábamos hablando en la cama, Cintia y yo, sobre ese comentario anoche. Eso es verdad, el porque... comentario de Guillermo. Sí, porque fue muy gracioso. <risa> so, and now. Now a word from our sponsor. Muchas gracias, gracias Luan. Luan. Luan de Trinidad. Ah, de Trinidad y Tobago, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is a Spanish name. Sí. La Trinidad, the Trinity, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok. So today uh, I'm talking about, uh, well, Cynthia is as well. She's not. She's just listening about. I'm talking about it. Okay. Um, I'm talking about. Uh, in that lesson, we were touching. We didn't even talk about why the subjunctive appeared, but um, we've got a course for subjunctive for beginners. Okay. Yes. And it's an online course, and it's m me principally doing it. Well, not principally, completely doing it. <laughs> <laughs> doing the doing the videos uh, and then there's, there's worksheets with each video each lesson and it kind of walks you through the present subjunctive and then with haber okay all in the present tense the present uh, perfect and the present okay so if you if you're thinking about throwing yourself into the subjunctive and you should you should that's a great place to start we've also got a book But the book kind of then takes you beyond that. But I think as a starter, just getting, you know, just getting the feel for it. That's what you want. Okay. A question for you ah. that your subjunctive is for beginners. Yeah. But this is for intermediate. But it's, not, it's, it's not really for beginners. So it's okay if intermediate people. Absolutely. That's Good question. I mean. The reason that we call this subjunctive for beginners is because we want people to start to study the subjunctive as a beginner and yes, not, and not to either. wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Get get on with it because it's not that hard it really isn't that hard you know it's part of your learning if you incorporate the subjunctive as you're learning other stuff it just becomes a fluid part it yes. becomes a fluid part of what you I do I think is it 
by we've not 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 ourselves, but in general, it's been created. I want to say. Absolutely. Yeah. So we've created like. Um, a fear of subjunctive and it's everywhere like subjunctive and you mention it and people get scared I know, I know. and it's not you know it's not a, it's another tense I'm, and i think it's scary because you think you don't have it but you do have it in english yeah. not as much as we use it but i have uh, a little theory it. about why it's scary and where it all came from and i blame okay and and i've got to be careful with this but i blame the spanish native teachers right and the okay. reason I'm going to blame the Spanish native teachers is because I know that I've talked to a number of them and I've seen a few in action. When it comes to teaching the subjunctive, they're like, I have no idea how I'm going to teach this. And I think they instill a little bit, they're a little bit frightened as well when they start, they're talking about it. They go, well, the subjunctive. So, um, just forget few, about it. <laughs> just write a few sentences. It's easy. Okay. So I think the students pick up and I go, hmm. Teachers a bit scared of that as well. I think I better be very scared of it. Like children, you know, when my parents are scared of that. I really need... That's a phobia. That's how phobias are created, you know. Children see the parents being scared of something and then they think, I better be scared as and well. And also English teachers would do the same, like, uh, let's just... You don't, you don't really need it. No. <laughs> I've never and, used it. And English, English teachers, they create, uh, they're scared of talking about when you use the and when you use a... And when you don't use a, like, you know, a bag, and when you just say bag, they're very scared of that. Well, I mean, English teachers, I didn't mean English teachers, I mean, English people that teach Spanish. Oh, English people, well, they're, that, that, that's what even, I meant. even worse. That English speaking people that teach Spanish, they also go, let's just... <laughs> This is some homework. I got the internet. Yeah, but you know, out of interest, just as, as an aside, I, I, we've had oodles of um, emails from Spanish now. teachers, from Spanish teachers saying thank you for the book that we wrote with the, with the new concept of how to deal with the subjunctive. And so many Spanish teachers are adopting that that way because it's just simple, oh, more simple. Good. That's nice. It's really nice, isn't it? That's nice. So there you are. Okay, entonces eso es todo. Ahora. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós. It's okay, which we'll talk all about it in, on... In on. Yeah. On in. By the way, this is um, an early intermediate, so we'll be doing this in English, okay? So... Oh, Gordon, sorry. Um, b b before we start... I don't know, how, you can word ah, it... Muy bien, muy bien. Me. So this is an early intermediate, so we'll be doing this in English. But before we start, if you... What am I going to say? Then if you want to have your lesson... No, I'm not going to say No, that. no, no, no. I don't no. want you to say that. No. Just say...